Hi, today we've got the King Bolan eDiag Mini diagnostic tool to take a look at. Uh, now this one is a lower cost diagnostic tool than pretty much all of the other units we've looked at in the past. This one is coming in at £70 delivered and the idea behind this one is this one's a little bit more focused on just reading and resetting engine codes. So with this one you can look at all of the modules in the system, we can read codes, we can erase codes and we can also stream all of the live data but it has less in terms of uh, service functions. So although this one can do an oil service light reset and a steering angle sensor reset, I think all of the other service options are basically paid for if you want to use them. So uh, this one's a little bit more suited to the basic DIYer who wants to do a bit of advanced diagnostics without delving too deep into the more expensive units. So here's the unit. It's a little Bluetooth device that plugs into the diagnostic port on your vehicle and then it requires the use of a mobile phone or a tablet in order to do the diagnostics. So let's plug this in, load up the software on my phone, and we'll take a look at how it works. So here is the software, it's called eDiag, and you can download it from the Play Store if you've got an Android phone. And once you've installed it, then you just need to go to the account section, log in with your username, and then you put in the serial number of the dongle, and then in the instruction book, there is an activation code specific to that particular dongle. You put that in, it activates the device, and then you're able to use the system. And the reason why you have to do the activation is because if you do purchase any of the additional functions, so there's a function at the bottom here that goes to the shop, and you can see there's things like resets um, for bleeding, battery mon monitoring system, all those kind of things. So those are what make the device cheaper because those aren't included, but if you want to buy them, then it ties it to that particular dongle. But this one's more aimed at just being able to read the systems in your car and look at the live data and reset codes if you need to. So we'll go to All Systems Diagnostic and we'll go down to Euroford and it will connect via Bluetooth to the dongle and then it should start uh, finding out the information about the vehicle. And then we can do a health report and it will go through and it will look for all of the modules in the vehicle. So this does actually allow you to talk to all of the modules in the car rather than a more restricted one that probably only lets you talk to the engine management unit. So this one is particularly useful if you have got other problems like issues with the automatic transmission or some of the other modules in your car. So we'll let it do the scan. So now it's finished scanning. We've got five modules here with codes and then we've got 10 without any issue. So we can click report and this will kind of do a summary of the entire system. So we'll give that a moment. So then it creates this report as you can see. So it's saying there's five issues with the system, uh, two to do with the wing mirror lights that we've got LEDs in, one to do with the car configuration data for the instrument panel cluster. Something didn't get programmed right at um, factory. I've never been able to get rid of that fault, but it um, doesn't cause any issues. Then we've got one to do with the license plate light at the back of the car that's got LEDs in it, and then one to do with the steering angle sensor, which is a code that I accidentally triggered the other day uh, when I was uh, doing some other work. So we should be able to actually go into the ABS system, read the fault codes, so we'll retrieve the continuous memory DTCs, and it says here, lost communication with the steering angle sensor. And if we tap on that, uh, we can see it's not a current DTC, so it was intermittent. That's because it has actually been fixed, which is why the engine light isn't on. So we should be able to clear this DTC just by pressing this button. Uh, do you want to clear the fault memory? And it says fault memory has been cleared and there's no DTC. So all sorted there. Uh, obviously, if there was an actual problem, then we wouldn't just be able to get rid of it by clearing the codes. Um, so that's how clearing fault codes work. We can actually read the data streams as we could with some of the other modules here. Um, so we can select all. Sorry, it's a bit awkward. So there it is. We've got all of the data stream items available for the ABS system. So this is particularly useful if you've got a problem you can't diagnose using traditional methods. For a module like the ABS, you wouldn't be able to do that with some of the cheaper tools, and we can look at all of the uh, data stream items. So for example, we've got the brake fluid pressure. If I press the brake pedal down, you can see I'm just pressing it lightly. As I press it harder, the pressure goes right up, and we can see that the brake light has turned on. So all of these things, really useful functions for diagnostics. And as I mentioned, we're not just limited to the engine management system. We can actually talk to any module in the vehicle. 
which is quite rare for a tool at this price point. So for example, we can look at the heating, ventilation and AC system. If we had a problem with it, we could read fault codes or clear them, uh, but we can read the data streams here and it's got all of the details for the AC system. So it's got the various temperatures at the various outlets. Uh, we've got the temperature of the evaporator, the interior temperature in the cabin and the status of the solar radiation sensor. So all of these types of things that if you've got an obscure problem, we can basically look at any module in the car and read the live data, which can be really useful for various diagnostics. So that's pretty much all there is when it comes to diagnostics. Now there are some maintenance functions, as I said, it includes the ability to reset the oil service light and reset the steering angle sensor. But if you want to use any of the other additional features, all the other resets like the DPF reset or EGR, all those types of things, then those are additional paid for functions, but it does include those two. And in terms of licenses, basically the diagnostics work for free for life. It's only those maintenance functions that you need to pay for. So that's a quick look at the King Boland E-Diag Mini, a really nice little diagnostic tool at a pretty decent price there, ideal for the DIY, and it allows you to have a lot more functionality than the very cheap code readers that just allow you to read codes. It allows you to do some actual diagnostics of your vehicle. If you're interested in taking a look at this, I'll put some links in the description down below. But until next time, thanks for watching.